Yep. So I want to make sure I'm pronouncing the name of your game, Raz. I'll let you say it first. Yeah, it's uh, Cosmonazis. Okay, that, that, that was my assumption. Okay. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about Cosmonazis. It's basically like a single-player adventure kind of uh, Metroidvania with lots of juicy killing Nazis. So everybody likes killing Nazis, so I yeah, figured I'd make it's a, a game. Good incentive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what were your inspirations when you were making the game? Um, well, so I started making this game when I first started learning how to make games like four years ago. And it's kind of been like my pet project, so I just keep coming back to it and remaking it and everything. So uh, I basically wanted to make a love letter to all the platformers and other video games I really love. So it's got a lot of elements of like Metal Slug and Metal Gear and like Contra and other Metroidvanias like Cave Story and things like that. So there, is there stealth in it? You said metal yeah, gear. there's a little bit of stealth in okay. there. Uh, a lot of people like shooting the Nazis first and asking questions later. So, uh, so but, much for stealth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So he's going to continue playing, but I think that's what everybody does. Do you want me to hop in there? Yeah, if you don't mind. Right. Sure. So what is the name of the character that you play? Uh, tentatively, his name's Jake Snake. Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> so like uh, so this level you can see like there's a few guys going around and uh, if you attack them they become really aggressive and it's kind of hard to get past them but um, so if you start off from the previous stage uh, you'll come through and there's one guy at the bottom who's sleeping and another dude at top who's patrolling okay. and so you can basically kind of walk past the dude that's sleeping and as long as you're out of the sight of the dude that's patrolling above, he won't become aggressive to you. So there's a lot of like stealth elements that I've like incorporated into the the enemy AI and the level design that'll help players that want to play more stealthy. That's pretty cool for a size. I mean, that's not what I would have expected. I like that. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's something that's been really challenging because usually uh, in three dimensions you have so much you can do with stealth, and in two dimensions it's a little bit more difficult. The last game I played that was too deep in stealth was Mark of the Ninja. Yeah, and that handles it so beautifully. Um, so yeah, in this stage, uh, I'm trying to kind of like push players down. So I have a turret that's kind of invisible to the player. And so uh, going down here, you get into one of the, uh, the temple levels of the game, which in the final version will be more optional. Okay. And it's like a totally different pacing. It's kind of puzzle and kind of like tricky there's a lot of traps everywhere so like if you take your time and go kind of slow you can kind of like navigate it without being in trouble um so, there any kind of roguelike elements a lot of, a lot of games are, are, are using roguelike elements there's, to punish people like me who are terrible at games yeah it's not really roguelike but there's like a, um i do kind of like take a lot of cues from some roguelike games like this is like really uh like kind of like a it's also like a love letter to some modern games like Spelunky that are very roguelike and full of traps and like they're really unforgiving so I kind of wanted to tap into that vein that's a lot of fun I love platformers I like stealth it's like a, a, a nice nice yeah. combination are you, am I I'm seeing a double jump is that is that correct yeah so another element in this game that I really wanted to do is more verticality than a lot of platformers so there are several jumping mechanics like wall sliding and double jumping. And I'm going to fight a boss now that will give me another ability to jump. <laughs> oh, these abilities you can take back to areas you previously were in. And yeah, exactly. Metroid okay. Yeah. Would I be incorrect to assume that this was influenced heavily by the Bowser boss battle? The exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's, kind of like, it's kind of like me saying... Uh, there, there's also a boss in uh, Spelunky that's almost exactly the same as well. So it's kind of me saying, like, Spelunky, I got my eye on you. You know, like, I know your influences and you're one of mine, so. I wonder what demographic would have associated it with Spelunky as opposed to Mario 3. Although exactly, yeah. You like to think everybody would have played Mario 3. Yeah. Everybody has got to the end of it. A lot of people here at MAGFest have called out the Bowser reference, and elsewhere I get a lot of the Spelunky reference so it's really interesting That's to very, see yeah. if you break down who's here that, that is yeah <laughs>
A lot of older players definitely get the Bowser reference. So what platformers are platforms are you looking for this to come out on? I'm sorry? What platforms are you looking for this to come out on? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm platforms. What about them? What platforms are you looking for this to be oh, released on? I thought you were talking about the platforms in the game. So, uh, yeah, it'll be on PC first, uh, and then uh, hopefully soon, right soon after Mac. And uh, depending on the engine I'm using, uh, hopefully maybe Vita or PS4. I could definitely see that. Yeah. It's like a lot of fun. Yeah, so the new ability I got lets you, like, smash through enemies. Much like the boss you just defeated. Exactly, yeah. Very nice. I, I, I know you hate this question probably, but uh, a release window? Oh, man. Hopefully, after, like, before the end of the year and after summer is where I'm aiming for. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you.